court, swerve up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back with another episode of uh, Quick Play. Today, we are playing Metro Redux. We are starting off on 2033. Um, I have played this game before, um, I haven't played the Redux version, but I have played the normal, um, Metro 2033 a long time ago on Xbox 360, so, um, I also owned the game on PC, it was given to me for free on Steam because of something, it was just free, um, we're probably gonna go 15 minutes to, like, uh, deal with everything, let's see, let's see, what do we have sound-wise? I can't hear anything sound-wise anyways, doesn't matter, game, uh, hit markers, I do want subtitles, hit markers, hold normal yep that all seems right i don't care about uh we could change that later so um wait with ammo filters and short supply earlier enjoy the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of metro when spartan style selected per is selected perfect for players who like faster paced more action oriented gameplay ammo filters you know, I kind of want to do survival, but Spartan mode seems a little bit fun. Um, dude, okay, so wait, 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 stop. I'm not really here for survival horror much, so we're going to go Spartan mode. Um, we're just going to do normal. I'm sorry, let me be a bitch, but yeah, this is how we're going to play. Um, I like having bright gameplay. I can't do darkness. Um, my computer screen which is what i'm playing off of i'm not playing off the tv i'm playing off the elgato i'm playing off the um screen recording you know or the screen like showing the recording and everything um it has horrible dark zones like really when when it's like too black you can't see anything so obviously but i mean like this this computer monitor is just extremely like dark it's not really the best you will see a lot of black and you won't you really won't um see anything it's just a pain in the ass so, I mean, I guess some people will find that good. I don't, personally. I like to see, so that's why I always put my uh, display as high up as I can. Um, there we go. I know, I'm like, I have a lighter here somewhere, dude. But, um, yeah, Metro is a fun game that I have played before. I did enjoy the game. Um, what was the point of this? Actually, give me one second. We're going to take the headset out of the mic. I'm going to plug it into my controller. Ah, perfect. Now I can hear the game. Microphone switch to the headset connected to controller. Um, <clears throat> was there any point in me uh, starting this thing? Okay, I guess not. Whatever. Um, uh, touchpad view note. Don't really care about the note. <clears throat> so, um, a few things. Oh, I feel like this is not a good setting. We'll, we'll change the setting as we move on. Um few things, yes, this is coming out on, um, how do I, whole square to interact with objects, so, um, yeah, today's Thursday, this video is coming out, literally the day it's being recorded, I'm also going to record one more video for tomorrow, just to make sure everything is good, yeah, let's change this, that is not a good, sensitivity, let's see, preset one, Let's see how well that does. Okay, that's a lot better. What crate? Where are the crates at? I don't see any crates. He said check the crates for ammo and med pack. Does he mean these things? Hey, now we have bullets, dude. We had no bullets. What the hell? Press square to reload. I don't know what happens if he fall, but I don't want to find out either. So, yeah. Metro, like I'm saying... Fun game. I've played it before. Um, turn off flashlight. And dude, this is like way too. That's like way too loud. It's blaring in my ear, dude. All right. So let's see. What was I going to say? Um, gas mask. We need to put that on because we're going out into the, you know, out above where we need it. So, I'm not sure how long this game is going to be, but, um, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this game and then move on to uh, Last Light, or if I'm just going to play this game, then play a different game, then come back to Last Light. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think would be best. What are we shooting at? What are we shooting at? Can we, uh, can we take stuff off of it? I could have swore we could have killed the monsters and we could, like, skin them or something. Whoa. 
This is also something new. This is the first time I've ever used my PS4 with my Elgato. So that's cool. Um, usually anytime there's been anything PS4 related on the channel, it always comes from the PS4's actual um, streaming and recording itself. So, you know, using the Elgato now seems kind of cool. It's, I Really, couldn't we, like, skin these animals, or is that only in Last Light? Um, I don't know. We might not go 15 minutes. We might just go 10 minutes. Um, another thing. So, uh, as of yesterday, so Wednesday, I ended up buying the microphone stand I've been trying to buy for a while. Um, luckily, Guitar Center had its daily... De I literally just went out to Guitar Center, and it's like, oh, daily pick. I'm like, oh, cool. What's a daily pick? And it happened to be a microphone stand I was looking for. Normally, it's $30. They had it for $15. I'm like, dude, this is fucking sweet, you know? I bought it. Um, I'm having it shipped. It should be here in three to five days. So, hopefully Saturday, if not next Wednesday at the latest. But new microphone stand is coming. That's awesome. Now, when I finally fix my laptop to record in my room, I could record there with the Blue Yeti. Um, another thing that's going on is uh, I still need to buy an actual pop filter for the um, microphone stand. Haven't bought in one yet. Like, I'm still using this stupid, like, little windscreen thing that, like, clamps on. I hate this thing so much. I'm trying to actually buy a filter that um, goes directly on top of the microphone stand itself. Or on top of the microphone itself to where, you know, I don't have to worry about which way I talk into it. It's, like, $7 on Amazon. I'm going to try purchasing it sometime this week, too. Um, I could purchase it right now. It's just I'm kind of, like, trying to be careful with my money. Definitely after Saturday is when I could purchase it because, you know... This Saturday, I work. I get to check next week. So, yeah. Um, is this a cutscene? Can we skip this? No, we can't. Oh, don't press that button. Don't press that button. Shit. Wrong button. So, we're not going to shoot at anything. We're going to fucking... And the funny thing is, I think this is, like, the last chapter in the game. But then it goes back. Like, this is, um... A flash forward into a flashback. Where the fuck am I getting attacked from? Dude, I literally got attacked from something that I couldn't even see. Like, are you fucking for real? And here comes the demons. We have these little creatures, whatever. Yeah, these demons are fucking pain in the ass, dude. But yeah, there is my main question. Like, what would be better to do? Just sit down and play the whole Metro series all in one sitting? Or should I play 2033, play a different game, maybe like, I don't know, God of War or something, and then come back to Last Light? Like, I really don't care how I play. I could sit down and play these whole games all at once. And then, when I don't think 2033 has any DLC, but I do know that Last Light does have DLC... And the Redux Edition comes with the DLC free, so I'll end up sitting down and playing that too. Um, DLC isn't that bad or that long either. Like, the DLC, you could sit down and do it in like an hour. Oh, actually, no, that seems really bad. Um, the DLC, though, is like something relatively quick. It's not like, it's not as long as the full game, obviously, but it does add some of the story. I think the DLC, no, the DLC for Last Light actually, um, Shows other people's perspectives while Artyom is doing his thing. So, like, that one sniper girl... Like, in Last Light, there's a mission. It's early... It's, like, the first mission in the game. You're with this one girl who's a sniper who's covering Artyom. And in the DLC for Last Light, you could actually sit there and you could play as her. And then experience her story while Artyom does his thing. Really cool. I don't think I need to bother with anyone. If I recall, there's, like, hidden money around you could grab. I just don't know where or how. But, um, yeah, we're already coming close to the end of this video. Um, is this where we have to go, or is there some over here? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to set this video to 60 frames, so... Um, I've been forgetting to do this. I have to keep switching back between 60 and 30 frames because not all my videos are 60 frames. Like, um, Kirby Star Allies is only a 30 frames game, so there's no point in rendering at 60 frames. But, um, yeah, I left it in 30 frames. Uh, tomorrow's video will be at 60 frames. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, 
I know it doesn't really matter much, but it's like I feel bad because now that I have the option for 60 frames, I should be following that very closely. But um, this game looks a lot better than it does in like the original. The Redux really has a better fucking upgraded visuals. Um, let's see. Let's turn. We can't turn off his lamp. All right, guys. Either way, I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.